Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me. My name is Claire and I have a tarot reading for you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pick two cards in a second and give you a reading for today, which is Sunday the 9th of April. Um, and it's also Easter Sunday, so happy Easter to those of you that are celebrating Easter today. Righty-ho, let's see what we've got then. And as I said, that two cards fell out. That's interesting, isn't it? One is the High Priestess. And the second is the King of Swords. Well, this looks like a pair that certainly know their own minds, don't they? What a, what a wonderful combination they are, actually. Because the High Priestess has this fantastic inner knowing intuition. So she's guided completely and utterly by, um, yeah, by her sole purpose and knows instinctively what is right. You know, what is right for her what um yeah just just has this really deep deep knowing and the king of swords well you know he knows his own mind and he won't be fooled he won't be um manipulated he knows right and wrong but it comes from a place in his in his head where he kind of just works stuff out and I just feel like if we had that combination of the two of these, wow, what a force to be reckoned with we would be. Um, yeah, so have you. Do Would you say, and I say, I'll ask this question to all of you, do leave a comment if it um, resonates with you in some way. Do you feel that you are really in tune with your intuition? Do you feel that you're really in touch with your own mind? Or... How can I put it? You would know if you weren't in tune with your intuition because there'd be little telltale signs within your body that tells you um, a really sort of constricted sort of lump in your throat or butterflies or your heart feeling a little bit, you know, not quite right <laughs> in some way. Your body gives lots and lots of little hints to us if we're not in line with our intuition and our mind. Well, that can play lots of tricks on us as well, can't it? So I feel that's a question that needs to be asked. I'm looking at these two cards and I'm really drawn to the animals that are here as well. All right, so we've got the crows here with the king of swords and we've got the butterflies with the, um, with the high priestess. Crows, I think, are really intelligent animals. And because a lot of us kind of see crows picking at stuff at the sides of the road, they kind of give a bit, bit of a bad rap, but I know that they're really intelligent and also really magical. Um, you know, they are uh, associated with witches and magic and all that kind of stuff. And the butterflies, well, they are obviously a sign of real transformation. And I feel that these two, I'm just going to take a look at them myself because sometimes smaller details sort of, you know, stick out at me here. But... Yeah, okay, so what I've really just been drawn to there is here, there's like a little spark of fire just in her hand there. I feel like that's the spark, that's something that's going to try and ignite us, um, which is quite interesting. So I feel like these two are coming in today to, to really encourage us to work in our own best interests. Does that make sense to you? Um, would you say that you recognise sometimes when you can perhaps sabotage yourself, not go with your intuition, maybe doubt yourself or let your ego talk you out of something and keep you in a safe place rather than pushing out your side your comfort zone and learning something new? There's lots of different reasons how these um, could maybe manifest in your day to day. But I feel they're both really here working as a team almost as if one is one is speaking like the king of swords is speaking on behalf of your human self and the high priestess is working on behalf of your soul and your soul's purpose and they've joined together to say look we want the best for you we want you to live the best life that you can possibly live and um you know you don't have to do too much really to make that happen just believe and trust Believe in yourself, trust in your intuition, and that's it. That's all you've got to do. And it seems such an easy thing, doesn't it? Such an easy message. But so many of us struggle with that. 
on so many levels on a daily basis. So I feel today that we're going to take that message. Actually, it's really easy to live your best life if you can believe in yourself, believe in the magic, believe that you can transform and, and follow your soul's purpose. That's that's a big message. But actually, yeah, if we just go with what we know <laughs> in our minds and our hearts and our soul, then we go in the right way. So however that plays out for you, I feel like there's a few people today, I know lots of you watch these and I'm really, really grateful, but I really feel like that is going to be a spark for some of you that you really need to hear today to think all that doubt, all that, that stuff I've been stalling with or knowing that I need to deal with and I haven't dealt with it. That's the message I need. And I really do feel that that has come channeled down from guides maybe not my guides, maybe yours, to say, come on, now's the time. So have a little ponder over that while you're eating your um, Easter Sunday dinner, if you're having a fancy dinner or you're having... Well, my camera got knocked out of the way there, <laughs> but I just wanted to come back in and say thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for subscribing and liking and commenting on my, um, on my videos. I'll be back again tomorrow with another message, so please do join me then. Thanks so much then. Bye.